What's up guys, it's one of uh, several short little videos that we're kind of filming to go over some wall work strategies for MMA. Okay, so uh, I'm going to show you some strategies off the underhook in this video. We're going to talk about just like the fundamentals, the framework, the strategies, and then uh, we'll like, I'll do a series of other videos about uh, how you got a lot of cool options to take people down. and. This, this video is kind of how I the fundamentals of the position, how to hold, striking, how to create opportunities. Okay, so we'll, uh, we'll get into the underhook on the wall. Okay, so I, I've, got, I've got a good um, underhook, okay? And what I want to start doing is I'll, I'll go over in a later video some things I can do with this hand, right? Like right now, like I'm just gonna kind of have it on his back, right? Just like my palm is on his back, right? Now, if he, um, <clears throat> go ahead and stand up a little straight. Like here, what I'm, what I'm trying to do, and it doesn't matter if he's standing up straight or down, but what I would like to do is kind of pancake his, his head into the cage or the, or the matted wall in this case. I'd like to get him as, as pinned to the wall as I can wherever he's at. So if he's bent over, right here and I'm just driving into the mat okay uh, so I'm driving my feet into the mat pushing into his head right that's one thing that's really fundamentally good that you should uh, work into this sort of under the holding position now once you get his head here I can start working this knee to the thigh okay this knee to the thigh really opens things up okay and I can do it from short distance like that, right? Just like a short sting, and it does not feel good to get any. This is right, right where you throw a kick to somebody with your shin. You hit them in that common peroneal nerve, okay? So um, what I'm gonna show here, other than these two details, is head control, this knee. When I start kneeing, if he picks that knee up, I'm gonna grab, okay? Now, what I wanna do is I'm gonna do kind of a run the pipe where I'm holding his hip or his shoulder, Okay, I'm going to step, and I land in the, like a leg drag position, okay? It's a great position to hit from. We put uh, like a calf crusher out from this position. To pass guard to here a lot. It's a real good spot to be. You can take the back, go to mount, leg drag, look into it. <laughs> okay, so get your head control. Now start working this knee. You can strike, strike, work the knee. As soon as he starts putting that up or gets light on it, I'm gonna go here. Now I will say it's probably a little better balance control on the shoulder pointing down, but I really like this hip too, because you can do other things as well. All right? Into the leg drag. Okay. So guys, there's so many uh, options and things we could do when we start training martial arts. There's uh, all, the, all there's striking, there's boxing, kickboxing, there's, there's upper body top throws, there's hip throws, leg throws, foot sweeps, uh, all this jujitsu, hundreds of thousands of moves and combinations of those moves, really, if you think about it. So <clears throat> we like try and delineate things down on, uh, on our YouTube channel as few playlists as we can. We got kind of a playlist for uh, a little bit of everything, though, okay? So, we got some MMA playlists. Check out our, our posts on wall work. That's what we'll be putting this video and several more that kind of go over some other takedowns. That was just a basic single leg. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.